Hi guys, as we know that ESP32 comes with dual core Extensa LX6 processor. But when we use it in our projects, we only use one core. But if we use both cores together, then ESP32 can run two different processes at the same time independently. In short, we can perform multitasking on ESP32 if we are using both cores of ESP32. So today we will learn how to use both cores of ESP32 in your projects. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. So before we start this, make sure you have a ESP32 board. If not, then buy one from the link given in description. Now we'll be using Arduino IDE. So make sure you install ESP32 boards in your Arduino IDE. And if it is not the case, then refer my video provided in card section. After installing ESP32 boards in your Arduino IDE, select your ESP32 board as mine is Lolin32. After this, you can download my code from description. So guys, whenever we run any piece of code in ESP32, it usually runs on one of the both cores. To illustrate this, let me upload this simple code to ESP32. And let's open the serial monitor. And you can see that this code is running on only one of the both cores, which is core 1. Now to use both cores, I wrote a code here, which will make the two LEDs blink independently of each other. One LED will blink every one second and the other LED will blink every 0.7 second. So I attach two LEDs at pin 2 and pin 4 on ESP32. Now let's take a look at the code. So in code, as we can see, I declare two different tasks as task 1 and task 2. Now we declare two output pins for the output. Then we will create task 1 using x task create pin to the core method. So with this method task 1 will be created and pinned to core 0. And task 1 code method we will use to implement it. Similarly we will create task 2 and pin it to core 1. And task 2 will be implemented using task 2 code method. Now we will create task1 code function and inside it we will write the code which we want to execute as in our scenario we want to blink a LED every one second. And it will print on serial monitor that the task is running on which code. And similarly we will create task2 code function as well. And this line will print the code on which it will run. And it will make the LED blink every 0.7 second. So these two tasks will run independently on both cores of ESP32. So let's upload the code to ESP32. So we uploaded the code to ESP32 and as you can see that both LEDs are blinking independently of each other. As we expected and this one is blinking every one second and the other one is blinking every 0.7 seconds. And if we open the serial monitor then we can see that which task is running on which core. So you can use the multitasking capabilities of ESP32 with its two cores in your projects. So have fun doing multitasking projects with ESP32. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video of mine. Till then, keep exploring.